Hello, everyone, and welcome to Rails to Trails Conservancy's webinar, Get Ready for Celebrate Trails Day. To introduce ourselves, my name is Suzanne Matias, and I'm Rails to Trails Conservancy's social media and engagement strategist. And I'm joined today by Brandy Horton, RTC's Vice President of Communications. Hi there. <laughs> And for those of you who are new or need a refresher, Rails to Trails Conservancy, we're going to shorten it to RTC just because it's a bit of a mouthful, if we're saying it a lot, it is a national nonprofit that's dedicated to building a nation connected by trails. We reimagine public spaces to create safe ways for everyone to walk, bike, and be active outdoors. Now, a big and fun part of that is connecting people with trails, which is why we're really delighted to share more about today's topic celebrate Trails Day, RTC's annual springtime celebration of America's trails and trail networks. Uh, during the webinar, we'll go over why celebrate trails, why should we do it, what Celebrate Trails Day is all about, its impact, why do it, and why we'll hope you'll join us this year, how to get involved and participate as a partner, some tips, inspiration, and timelines to be aware of, and how we try to make it as easy as possible for you to participate by providing helpful resources and support along the way. Um, as I mentioned, we'll have time for questions at the end, but please feel free to use the chat or go ahead and grab our emails right here and you can send us a message at another time if you think of it later. And again, if you miss anything, we'll make it available on our website. So with that all out of the way, I'm going to hand it off to Brandy. Thank you so much, Suzanne, and thank you for everyone for taking the time today to talk with us about what Celebrate Trails Day 2023 is going to look like, what it's all about, and why you might want to engage. Next slide, please. So as a national movement, one of the things we think about a lot is how do we build a community of people all across the country who support trails, who advocate for trails, who truly are trail evangelists, who are willing to take local action, national action, just kind of read and live the, the gospel of trails. And we often think about folks across all different audiences that we work with as coming into this movement as a trail user. You know, whether it's members of Congress, whether it's state and local leaders, whether it's funders for all of our work all across the country, often people come to us because they like trails. They've met a trail, they've experienced a trail. Maybe they've been doing that for a long time. Maybe they've been an avid bicyclist for years, or maybe there's someone who were looking for a place to go out with their family and they found a trail near them that they like to now go on walks and they've become somebody who really cares about that space and they're supporting that space. And so when we look at moments like Celebrate Trails Day, they really become an opportunity to bring more trail users into the fold and also move people from trail user through that engagement path all the way to evangelists over time, thinking about ways that they can connect with these spaces in meaningful and uh, meaningful ways and provide opportunities to really kind of give back to their community. Next slide, please. The good news is that demand for trails and those trail users are almost higher than they've ever been. We are almost back to 2020 levels of trail use, if anyone can believe it. I know when we were crunching the numbers at the end of the year, I couldn't believe it. And I was really thrilled to see that 2022 was just a banner year for trails. Trail use, we were kind of using 2019 as a marker since 2020 was such an anomaly. And so trail use is up 45% compared with 2019. And if you're following along, 2020 on a whole, was up just around 50% compared with 2019. So we are really almost back at those pandemic level numbers, an increase in trail use last year of 9.5% overall. So these are just huge numbers. There are more people, millions and millions of people using trails all across the country who we want to celebrate. We want to get more people out there. And we really want to speak to what they're telling us. You know, 87% of people have said that they feel that trails contribute to the well being of their community. RTC did a poll um, earlier this year, a uh, nationwide sample. And that was what we heard. And that's consistent with what we've been hearing over the past couple of years. And what's really exciting about that is that it's sticking, right? This feeling that people had when they discovered trails or kind of began relying on trails in different ways during the pandemic is now really becoming part of their lifestyle. And people are using trails more now than they were before, which is also really interesting, particularly among Black and Latino users. So we're seeing some increase in diversity. We're seeing increase in trail use overall. And that's really filling that pool of trail users who we hope to move into trail evangelists over time and help us all accomplish our goals. Next slide, please. 
Another thing that is important to note here is part of how we do that is you know, through events and through things like Celebrate Trails Day, but also through telling the stories of people who are out on trails. And one of the things that's really noteworthy, and I think a change that has happened since the pandemic, is that people are finding many different ways to build trail use into their everyday lives. And we want to celebrate that up. We want to lift that up. We really want to make sure that people see themselves on the trails, maybe not the person who's doing the 100 mile long distance ride, but the person who's doing 30 minutes outside with their family every day, like Chelsea Murphy in Washington, or somebody who is discovering ways that they can swap their car trips for bike trips, because it's simply just a better way to get around the community that they live in. They're getting some exercise, they're saving some money, and they're using the trails when it makes sense, because it's connected to the places that they want to go. Or folks like Ian, who really are relying on the trails in their area for well-being, for peace of mind, and as a way to safely get outdoors and away from traffic and other things when they're out in nature. So lifting up those trail moments, which is a campaign we started several years ago during the, the pandemic, has really evolved into a way to celebrate everyday activities people are doing on trails, normalizing that behavior as part of our everyday lives. Again, trying to build that pool of trail users into a community that's as, as diverse as the United States and really something that is what we're looking to do in our lives all the time, not just those huge bucket list adventure destinations. Next slide, please. So what are we, with those things in mind, what are we trying to achieve this year with Celebrate Trails Day? One of the things we're trying to achieve is just to continue encouraging people to be active outside. We wanna amplify that participation. We want people to see themselves in the stories and the experiences of folks out on Celebrate Trails Day. So whether that's individual activities or folks engaging in events, we want people to see things that are interesting to them in places that look like the places where they live in communities that look like the communities where they spend their time. Success to us looks like people getting out on trails and seeing that on social media, seeing that and people sharing their stories across all different platforms. We also wanna see minutes spent active outside. For the past several years on Celebrate Trails Day, we have partnered with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to really measure what difference does Celebrate Trails Day make in terms of getting people outdoors and being physically active and achieving their physical activity goals. And so that's been a really interesting metric to track and it's gone up year over year. And it's really interesting that it also aligns with new recommendations and guidance from CDC that says it's really important to have the infrastructure. It's really important to have the open and green spaces that are in people's communities, but it's also fundamental that we create programming that gets people outside and Celebrate Trails Day is a big part of that. So we're measuring those minutes outside. We're asking people, you know, what did you do on a normal day? What did you do because of Celebrate Trails Day? And what difference did the programming make? We're also this year specifically taking a look at car trips swapped. And Suzanne's gonna talk about Earth Day in a second, um, but it is gonna be on Earth Day. So we'll just keep repeating that. Uh, Celebrate Trails Day this year is on Earth Day. So it's a great time to talk about how trails can be part of our own sustainable lifestyle, also how they're part of resiliency efforts in the community, why they're important to all of that work. So looking at how people might be swapping car trips for trail, walk, or bike trips is another thing we'll be looking at for Celebrate Trails Day this year. And then partners, you know, how many folks are joining us in the celebration? How far and how wide can we lift this story of trails really as such an important and fundamental part of our everyday lives? Next slide, please. So the evolution of Celebrate Trails Day, um, for those of you who've been with us since the beginning, you might do the math here and say, oh my gosh, it's been 10 years of celebrations. And in the early days, we used to talk about Celebrate Trails Day as opening day for trails. And it was really about like bringing as many people out in the springtime as, as we could. But that changed in 2020 because we were really not encouraging people to get together. So we made it a celebration of trails at home, which provided a perfect segue to really recast the framing of Celebrate Trails Day around a time, you know, some trails are open year round. Some trails do close for seasonal things. Some people enjoy being on the trails in the winter. Some people in the summer, all year round, you know, there's different things. So we wanted to get away from the idea that the trails are open or closed or anything like that and really focus on celebration. Um, if you want to hit the button, Susanna, that'd be great. Thank you. So the last couple of years, we've really um, leaned into that concept of Celebrate Trails Day, really encouraged all the ways that people can get out on trails and participate on trails. So whether that's individual activities, group activities, and last year for the first time in a few years, events, events were coming back. Now looking at Celebrate Trails Day 2023, events are back in a big way. We are really encouraging people to get together, really encouraging people to build community on trails, right? Let's get back to the space and the time where trails were a gathering spot and a place where 
all different people who live in a space or visit a space can connect and come together. So we'll be talking about that a bit more today. The events are back in a big way and, and we're really excited about it. Next slide, please. So what has the impact been over the past several years? This looks particularly at 2022, but what we've seen is just, I think with the notion of moving to celebration, moving to a really inclusive approach where there are no wrong ways <laughs> to participate and celebrate Trails Day. If you are on a trail and you are outside and you are doing something and you are telling us about it, you are part of the party and we are so glad to have you. So last year we hit I believe for the first time, every single state in Washington, D.C. had participation on that day. And that was a huge milestone for us because it just says that there are people who love their trails all across the entire country, which is something we know and believe, but to be able to see that was really meaningful. And so we hope to hit that same marker again this year. Um, maybe we'll add a 51st state and then we can grow that number. <laughs> We'll see. Um, we had 200 partners, which was incredible. So those were trail partners, those were brands, those were corporations, those were other some supporting and community organizations coming together to organize events or encourage their community, their networks to get on on trails that day. Over 150 events and over 11,500 participants joined us on that day. And what that resulted in was really interesting data points about active minutes spent outside. So on Celebrate Trails Day, we can take credit for eight, over 800,000 minutes of people's time being physically active. Um, and that means that they had about on average 65 minutes per person, which gets you above what the daily recommendations are for physical activity for the CDC. So really helped to showcase like trail plus kind of a reason to get outside and programming plus community equals we can totally slay our physical activity goals in a different way. The other thing that was really interesting, we asked in our survey a question that we'd never really asked before, and that was how many folks on Celebrate Trails Day swapped a car trip to maybe get where they were going, if it was an event, or just for whatever they were planning to do that day. And 24% of participants had swapped a car trip to get to their destination. Um, and I thought that was pretty neat um, and something that we want to continue to lean into and to share. Again, because trails are part of our active recreation, they're part of our community and the social capital there, but they're also really important parts of our transportation networks. And we want to be able to communicate that um, and celebrate Trails Day becomes a great way to do that. And then I think we all, all of us here on the call know that trails were a great way to reduce stress, but great to see that almost every single person said that after being out on the trail and celebrate Trails Day, their stress level went down. So what a good reminder to all of us to build this into our everyday life. So when we look at, at measuring kind of what Celebrate Trails Day does in 2023, we'll be looking at similar metrics and communicating those and hoping to see improvements, hoping to see growth. Um, and where we don't, you know, taking a look at that and, see, and seeing why. Next slide. I think it goes to you. It's all yours, Suzanne. <laughs> Thanks, Brandy. Now, while Brandy has just shared why this moment is so big for trails and why they're so worthy of celebration, I'm going to segue into the how we're doing it, how we're celebrating, what's it all about. And, you know, if you take away nothing from this webinar, we hope you take away more than that. But if you take away one thing, one short thing, it's really this slide, these key takeaways. Um, I'm going to run through them. But Again, this is this is what you really need to focus on. So how is it how is it celebrated? At the end of the day, if you were to put it under one big umbrella, Celebrate Trails Day is really about connecting with trails, right? Um, so this year, as Randy was just sharing, we're really focusing on having people connect with trails by going to events. Um, that's a really great way for people to actually get outside to experience the trails and to connect with the people who are behind the trails themselves, a lot of you all. Um, the other way is for by planning their own adventures, right? Some people like to blaze their own trail, blaze their own path. So it's also really open to any way people want to plan their DIY do-it-yourself adventures. It's, it embraces any type of way that people are really getting outside and connecting with experiencing their trails. So when is it? We've mentioned this a few times. Celebrate Trails Day, just so you can mark it in your calendar forever and for always. It's the fourth Saturday of every April, so it does change around a little bit each year. But this year, it falls on April 22nd, which is super exciting because it's also Earth Day, as Brandy hinted at, which is a big reason to really get people outside and on their trails. Happily, it also falls on the kickoff of National Park Week. You all might want to just double check these dates in case things have changed and the close of Volunteer Week. So Earth Day, National Park Week, Volunteer Week, trails, all of it comes together so beautifully this year into what will surely be a really exciting celebration. Uh, this year, the themes we're really focusing on are 
the role trails play in inspiring a happy planet and happy communities. You know, those of you on this call are probably a bit more experienced in this than, than most, but trails are truly transformative for communities. Uh, they offer more transportation options, meaning people can get around without a car. Or, you know, if you're like me, you don't have a car, it's a great way to get around in general. Um, providing more ways to safely and conveniently travel to where you want to go, you know, like your favorite bike shop or bike or bake shop, <laughs> I'm a cookie bean, um, while reducing traffic related emissions. Um, so great for the planet. And in some places, as Brandy was mentioning, it's really nice to go by trail versus sitting in traffic or anything like that. So it's great for mental health, physical health, great way to just get outside, experience the outdoors um, and appreciate nature. And the list goes on. So we already mentioned that we're connecting people with trails this year through the celebration events, big focus on events this year, uh, but we're also providing some resources to help people, you know, plan those DIY adventures just in case, you know, they don't have an opportunity to visit an event near them or, you know, they feel more comfortable doing their own thing. One of the other things that we are doing this year, back by popular demand, is offering you materials to help you spotlight your trails and events. We'll dig into that a little bit, but for those of you who like swag um, and fun materials, we'll talk more about what we're offering this year. And then I'm also gonna share a little bit more about how you can participate, you know, like ideas for doing so, what other resources, or what resources, excuse me, are available, what's the timeline, and then what's happening on April 22nd itself and after. All right, how you can participate. So there are a couple of ways to do it. Um, one of them is really helping us get the word out, you know, depending on what type of group, organization, business, agency you're with, a big way to take part is just to get getting the word out, letting people know to mark this on their calendars now so that they are they have something really fun to look forward to come April, um, come springtime. Uh, the other way we mentioned was, you know, really yeah, if planning an event, planning an event is such a big focus this year. And there are so many ways to do it. I'll share some inspiration for different ideas later. But trail cleanups, ribbon cuttings, rides, we've really seen such a incredible range of different events that people have hosted for Celebrate Trails Day. And I'll also kind of hint out what I'm going to share later that you really don't need to reinvent the wheel. You can keep it simple. Do something that you all feel comfortable doing. Um, so these are two main ways to sell or to participate, getting the word out, becoming a partner, having an event, um, stay tuned and share, you know, really help creating the buzz leading up to the celebration. RTC is going to be sharing lots of things through our communications channels, but it makes such a difference and magnifies everything when you all join us in getting the word out and sharing those stories, sharing that trail inspiration. And then on the day itself, whether through an event or, hey, you're getting out there or you're encouraging people to get out there, you know, really encouraging folks to get out. Hashtag celebrate trails um, on social media, share what they're up to, really just circulate that love and appreciation for trails and that celebratory spirit. So I mentioned some resources. Um, we have a bunch of really fabulous resources for anybody at really any time to help them really experience trails or get to know trails or feel comfortable on trails. And for Celebrate Trails Day, we know, again, that some people like to have that inspiration leading up to it. Some of them want to plan their own adventures, you know, if they don't feel comfortable or just don't have an event near them. So we have a whole bunch of resources available, our trail finder trail link, it's always free. People can go ahead and find a trail close to them whenever it's an app website. We also have fun, you know, activities, how to's, guides, what have you for just getting out, enjoying nature, like birding. We have a whole bunch of walking, running, hiking resources, kind of biking resources, including video tutorials. You know, we have information on, we understand that spring is not always you know a balmy 70 degrees depending on where you are so we have some great cold weather resources we even have resources for doing things in the rain safely um, and then of course we have some general trail etiquette guidance recreate responsibly guide and sharing the trail guidance that just help make it so everybody can have a fabulous time on the trail everyone's being nice um, and respecting the trails that they're experiencing so we're going to share this with folks leading up to the celebration. They want to use it on the day, but this is also available for you really at any time. It's on our website, a bunch of really great resources. We're adding to it all the time. So feel free to check this out now, start sharing it again, kind of building up the buzz and motivating, motivating excuse me, people to get outside now. So I talked about events. Here is a smattering of fun events that we saw last year, just ways people were celebrating. Not all of these are events, a lot of them are. 
you know, this is an, a, this is uh, an example of a user getting out exploring their local trail and seeing some fun, funky trail art with their dog. You know, we have, there's always a lot of cleanups, you know, big or small. It's really a great time to get people out and helping in a stewardship capacity with your trail on an event. It's just, it gets a great way to kind of build up your trail community. And um, with Earth Day, you know, it's a, it's a perfect way to kind of give back to trails too. Um, some of our folks or some of our partners from last year had some really creative events. You can see right here, you know, like trails and waterways often go hand in hand. Um, so sometimes biking doesn't always have to be on the trail. Sometimes it can be trail adjacent on the waterways. Um, and then, you know, there are, of course, fun rides that happened. You can see with this last example here that it was a great opportunity to kind of show the community and how trails are helping to connect in community. So really think about these events as a way to have a little party on the trail, but also you can build in some really useful ways to connect with people and to encourage them. As Brandy was saying, becoming that evangelist for the trail, an advocate for the trail, uh, a volunteer for the trail. Some other fun examples from last year, uh, really smattering here. So this was to promote a trail that's still to come, right? I mentioned trail openings, but it can also build awareness for trail projects that are still to be. Again, kind of rally that support for trail projects that are upcoming or that are you know, still being dreamed of. It's just such a great opportunity to bring some visibility, attention, and awareness to trails in general, including trail projects. Um, here's another great kind of self-exploration of people discovering things on trails, um, something you don't often get to do unless you're out there experiencing it yourself. Here's a really fun example of um, a great way that one trail organization encouraged their bike, or excuse me, their volunteer bikeway ambassadors. You don't see this on the trail every day. And it's, wow, what a great way to focus people's attentions on the trail and get them interested in volunteering. Um, here's another one. This is a bird nature walk and a bunch of other things too. But just as a reminder, you know, trails can host a, a wider assortment array of different types of activities. And by really offering like a lot of inclusive and just other a wide range of activities, you can help people know that whatever activity is for them, you can find it on the trail. Couple more here before we keep going. Um, there is a really large uh, a, a bike group ride. It was a really exciting way to kind of bring attention to a longer trail system connected project. Um, RTC was really proud, really excited to work with some of our local partners on this one to again, bring some visibility to longer projects by helping people get out on existing trails. Um, we saw horses and pony rides and some uh, at some events last year. You know, uh, we had another, we had a whole range of connected cleanups with some of our partners. So it was just a really great way to give back um, to, to the trails through a really fun, again, celebratory kind of party-like atmosphere. And again, with the themes this year, trails are uh, trails help equal happy communities and help happy planet. It just it all dovetails so neatly into what can really be a great event and great celebration. So again, don't worry about reinventing the wheel. Although you can, you can get as big and creative with it as you want. But you can also do something that you've done in the past, or it can be small and simple and straightforward. It's just really about helping people celebrate trails in a way that works for you and for them. So some event planning tips. We know it can take time and energy to plan an event um, of, of any scale. So a couple of helpful tips just to be aware of. I've included right here the Recreate Responsibly guidelines. These are just great to build into any event or any type of trail activity that's going on. Um, and again, it helps people come prepared for their adventures and feel comfortable and safe and welcoming for everyone. Um, some other things, depending on the type of event you're doing, you might want to just double check if you need any permits, reservations, or any type of coverage, um, just to ensure that your event is ready to go. Uh, consider first aid and inclement weather. It's always good to be prepared. And as I mentioned before, spring, April particularly looks a lot of different ways, depending on where you are in the country. I know Brandy and I are here in the D.C. area, and we've seen beautiful sunny skies, we've seen rain, we've seen hail, we've seen snow, we've seen days that really encompass all of those wonderful elements of weather. So just in case, um, depending on what your plans are, it's really good to think ahead, plan for weather, you never know. Um, and then another great tip that some of our partners in the past have just really explored in such a beautiful way is partnering with different groups, right? If, if that's partnering with a trail and a bike and a walking group, that's one idea. 
You can also think outside of the box, right? Businesses are a great way. Hey, there's a there's a local ice cream shop along your trail. Why not invite them to come out? It's a great way to bring visibility to their business, have people understand that trails can connect them to all different types of things in their community, whether those are you know, schools, businesses, shops, just attractions, cultural sites, all of these things the trails help us connect to. So think about different partnerships that you might want to pursue for your event. Uh, so making it free in the spirit of trying to get everybody out there on the trails and making them feel welcome and invited. Uh, we do want, we do encourage everybody to make their Celebrate Trails Day events free. RTC gives promotional preference to free events. So just keep that one in mind. Again, this is a great way to kind of build your community. So if you have subsequent events later, this is a great entryway for them to get to know you and what your organization is all about. Get the word out about your event early and often. This is a really important one. If you want people to come to your event, it's really good to let them know that your event's coming up. RTC is gonna be doing all we can to let people know that April 22nd is the day for Celebrate Trails Day and to encourage them to check out their local trails or community's trails. But it's a really great way to for you to let them know, to engage with your community. It gives you an excuse almost to let them know, hey, we're doing this really cool thing. We hope you'll invite or you'll join us. And we've tried to make it as easy as possible. And we'll share a little bit more about this by creating a promotional toolkit to make this. So it's as copy and paste and customize ready as it can be. So you all can focus more on your events and what's coming up versus having to really replicate language and whatnot. And again, I've mentioned before, public health and safety guidance, always important to consider. So how we can support you, how we can help you. I mentioned the toolkit. The toolkit is a really great way for you just to lean into what's already happening. Take advantage of what's already out there so you can just really, again, spearhead your event, focus on your event. Within our toolkit, we offer a bunch of ready to go language, graphics, uh, we have ideas, and then after and we're going to add this webinar tool or this webinar recording to it soon. A whole bunch of things are there just to help you plan your event. And then also on our website, we have a main page too. This is where we're going to be featuring all the things Celebrate Trails Day. We're going to be encouraging people to visit, to explore events, to see what's happening near them, to find trails near them. So this is really going to be our showcase page for all things Celebrate Trails Day. And that includes the plans that you all will be working on. All right, we're gonna do a tour. Forgive me, this takes a little bit of uh, working with the computer on, so hopefully it's not too temperamental. All right, Brandy, let me know if you're seeing anything that doesn't look celebrate trailsy on the screen. <laughs> All right. Right, right as it should. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. All right. This is the Celebrate Trails Day webpage that we've been talking about. Again, this is that showcase space for that for the celebration. So your one-stop shop for all things updates and resources. So as you can see, we've kind of an inviting place for everybody to join. We have some save the dates up here for anybody for um, folks who are interested in becoming a partner. We have a quick form we ask you to fill out just so we can ensure that you are getting sent the updates and information and resources and things that you need to help make your Celebrate Trails Day a success. Right now we have the webinar up here, um, but this is also where people are gonna be able to learn more about why Celebrate Trails Day, the national impact. This is where we'll be sharing more impact information later. We also have those tips, resources, right, that I mentioned for people who want to get outside and plan their own trail experience. So that's all right here, ready to go whenever you need it. Now, for the partner toolkit, the promotional toolkit, you simply click right here to explore that toolkit. I already have the tab up just to save some time. And you'll be greeted by this fabulous looking page. So right here, again, in case you missed it, this is where you can sign up to become a partner. It takes minutes. And again, that's just to make sure that you get the updates you need as, all, as well as the um, we're going to be sharing materials, like I said. That's where you can sign up and make those requests. So be sure to sign up to become a partner if you haven't already. And then for events, once you have your event details confirmed, whatever those may be, a couple of options right here, um, and it's ready for the public to start engaging with it. What we're gonna ask you to do is to click right here to be brought to, oops, I'm sorry, not this page, brought to this page. And it's a quick form. And all it really does is ask you a few key details about your event, um, including event listing links. So 
So by that, I mean, if you use Facebook, for example, and you've created an event, we're gonna ask you to include that event link or meetup or Eventbrite whenever you submit your event. And why we're doing that is because it gives you complete ownership of your event. If you need to update material, or update details or what have you, you're gonna be able to do that within your event listing. And it will automatically, because we're going through the link, will be automatically updated within our collection of those events of what we're showcasing and how we're gonna be showcasing all the different events that are happening around the country. So a really cool interactive map, we'll be unveiling it closer to the celebration, but it's really gonna be a way for people to explore all the things that are happening around the country near them, including your events, your, more about your organization and those key details that you'll be including in this form. So again, just once your events are confirmed, go ahead and submit them here and we'll get them ready for our cool interactive map and our other promotions and coverage about the event. So some of the other things on the promotional toolkit page are some great logos in case you need them. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of ones depending on what types of, um, what, what spaces they need to be in. So that's available. We also have those customizable templates. Again, this is social media posts, email templates, press releases, um, or press release templates that will all be available here. We're also planning to make available content in Spanish. Um, so please just watch this space um, to get those updates. And this is pretty simple. You can customize it to best fit your event or what's happening along your trail in your community and go ahead and share that with the world to really create that buzz and get people excited about what's happening for Celebrate Trails Day. And then promotional graphics, we'll be adding more of these later, but we've got a whole suite to accommodate all the places that you might want to include a graphic, whether that is a newsletter blurb or social media. So that's where you'll be able to find that. One thing we also have now by popular demand is our selfie frame. This is a print your own. We have some directions right here. So you can get this printed right away if you would like to have that be a part of your event. So that's our, our website for all things Celebrate Trails Day, including the partner section. I encourage you to check it out after this. Keep checking it out as we'll be adding more details. So I'm gonna switch back to the presentation. Bear with me again. And while she's making that swap, there have been some good questions coming in to the Q&A panel. Keep dropping those in there. I can answer them as we go. And then if there are any that um, require more discussion, we'll, we'll share that as we get to the latter portion. But please keep popping those questions in. Thanks, Brandy. Thanks for the reminder. Yes, if you do have questions, we love to hear and let us know. That helps us make the celebration even better. In fact, the perfect segue, a lot of you said, hey, it'd be really great if we had some materials that were branded for Celebrate Trails Day or that we can co-brand for Celebrate Trails Day, just so people know that this is happening on our trail this time. Thanks to your questions. Thanks to your feedback. That's something we now offer. I already mentioned the, the selfie frame, but we also have these cool trail decals. This is what it looks like. It does need to be a smooth surface, but it's basically like a temporary tattoo for your trail. And it's uh, very easy to apply and it looks great. We also have these yard signs here you can you can notice that this is co-branded we do offer that opportunity as well as um, we've made them available in english and spanish both sides in the past um, i'm sorry that this dog this very cute dog is not included in the materials we offer but while you're focusing on the cute dog please just lower your eyes to this right here we're asking that folks make these requests for materials by march 1st like i mentioned we'll be sending these key updates to anybody who signs up as a partner so when we're starting to open up those requests, we'll let you know by email, like, hey, you can go ahead and request signs. Um, RTC is going to do our best to accommodate all requests depending on demand. So uh, please just keep an eye out for your email after you sign up for a partner to learn more about the opportunity to request materials. So a little bit more on timing here. March 1st is a big one to make note of, but just as a general progression that you might want to keep in mind for planning Celebrate Trails Day. Of course, this is gonna look different depending on your event or your plans in general. If you're not even, if you're not planning to hold an event, what's happening on your trail, what's happening on your calendar. But this is just a general flow that we like to share with everybody just to keep in mind. So January, it's really about that learning phase, getting uh, familiar with some of the resources that are available. What is Celebrate Trails Day? Thinking about what you might wanna do for this year. Uh, February is a great time to really start or continue that promotion. And if you are holding an event, think about the logistics that you might need to consider. 
as you're preparing for your event. And then again, when you're ready and you have those event details ready, that listing and ready, go ahead and submit them through the Celebrate Trails Day website so we can get it ready to feature um, as we get ready to, or as we continue to promote the celebration through the interactive map. Um, and as I said, stay tuned for the opportunity to request Celebrate Trails Day materials. You see that deadline here. Um, really after March, it's about continuing to create the buzz. If you haven't done already, um, submitted your event in February, we really recommend trying to get your um, event submitted at least a month in advance, just so you can really maximize the type of promotion and visibility that Rails to Trails Conservancy will be offering through our communications. Uh, early April is when any requested materials can be expected to be delivered. And then April 22nd is Celebrate Trails Day. Like I said, whether that's an event or you're simply encouraging everyone to get outside on your community's trails, what have you, um, this is the day we're really hoping to focus to really focus attention on America's trails and why they're great and should be celebrated, as well as um, you know, reminding folks that it is Earth Day and a couple of other uh, observances as well. Following Celebrate Trails Day, following the big party, uh, we're going to be sharing a survey and keeping it open for a couple of days. That survey is to really capture that impact information that Brandy shared with you all so we know about those active minutes, so we know those powerful figures to really help continue to make the case for Celebrate Trails Day, uh, or not just Celebrate Trails Day, but for trails and why they're important, why they're valuable, why our communities need these outdoor spaces and why they're essential to people and make us feel happier and healthier. And then, you know, following that, we'll release uh, the, the, the findings from those surveys. And of course, Celebrate Trails Day 2024, get it on your calendar now, <laughs> but something to look forward to in the coming year. So here's a quick recap of everything we talked about today, you know, it really is about just encouraging people to enjoy the trails that are in their community and to connect with them. Um, a couple of things I mentioned, a hashtag, just keep an eye out if you haven't already um, for updates that are taking place on the Celebrate Trails Day page against the up-to-date space for all of the things, the latest Celebrate Trails Day, if you haven't already signed up to become a partner. Um, just be sure to, to watch that space for more information if you are interested in being a partner or getting involved with the celebration this year. Suzanne, with, real quick, oh, before ahead. we move into that part, there is a question that I think we should just drop in right now about yeah. whether or not RTC has any drawings for cool prizes that can help track those who are planning to attend and incentivize, incentivize participation. Blah. <laughs> yes. That is a fantastic question. Yes, in addition to um, the joy, <laughs> the incentive of loving the trails and being out on the trails and feeling that reduced stress and that joy from getting out there, we will be offering prizes to anybody who lets us know that they're planning to participate this year. Um, we're really excited to offer a bunch of RTC gear. We'll be making available um, prizes that are generously provided by our 2023 sponsors and other partners and supporters this year. So yes, anybody who signs up to participate in Celebrate Trails Day gets the added incentive of the potential to win prizes. So in case you need that little extra carrot to get folks excited about what's happening on Celebrate Trails Day, just remind them, hey, check out Rails Trails Good Services website. You could be entered to win prizes just by letting us know that you're planning to celebrate. And again, that really helps feed into that impact information. Um, showing that widespread participation by people all across the country. So thanks, Freddie. That was a that was a great question. And thanks to whoever asked that question. No problem at all. And one quick follow up: registration for the public or for people to tell us when they're able to join. That launches when again? It should be launching very soon, if not today, then in the next few days. So keep an eye out. And we will be sure to let our community, our grassroots community, in addition to our partners know when that is open to. Perfect. All right. So thank you again for these great questions. If you have any more, please add them to the chat because we're about to turn it over to questions. But before we do, I just want to bring up one really exciting final piece of information. If you've attended these webinars before, you know, or similar types of webinars, or if this is your first one, this is the type of great information we share, plus additional content to help inform you about what's happening in the trails movement to get you involved. Um, today's webinar was hosted by the Trail Expert Network, but that will be evolving into the Trail Nation Collaborative just next week. Woohoo! Uh, the Collaborative is a learning community where advocates, public leaders, and professionals can come together to share their experiences, their challenges, 
and there's strategies for accelerating the pace of connecting trails and active transportation infrastructure. So bike, walk, pedestrian space, that type of thing. Um, and we will be kicking off the collaborative next Thursday, January 19th, uh, with a special live event called Harnessing the Power of Trail Networks. This interactive event will inspire us to think deeply about what it takes to breathe life into trail networks, leading with equity and inclusion and unlock their potential for people and places. Uh, it'll be featuring outstanding leaders from across the country. We'll introduce everyone to the collaborative with tips on how to engage, influence, uh, be a part of the conversation, participate in events, and access resources you need to accelerate trail networks in your community. So if that piques your interest, we'll go ahead and drop a link uh, just about the Trail Nation collaborative launch in the chat, but you can also find more information online at railstotrails.org. So again, save these dates, celebrate Trails Day, April 22nd coming up. Uh, we'll share more information on our website soon. And then January 19th coming up, another fun, exciting event about promoting trails and trail networks and spaces where people can enjoy being outdoors. So thank you again for tuning in today's webinar. We'll leave some space now for questions. Brandy, I think you're on mute if you're sharing some of the I questions. I sure am. I was just yep. going to while we waited for some questions. Um, so a few questions here are, are more kind of tactical in nature. So are we able to download and use any of the logos? The answer to that is absolutely. Um, please do. We just ask that they don't get modified in any way, but everything that's available in the toolkit is for your use. And is the decal removable from plexiglass? I believe that it is. We have previously had folks use it kind of as an installation on um, a kind of trailhead facility or something like that if the surface of the ground doesn't work. But there are other options as well for, for branded product. There are the yard signs, there are the decals, there are printables that you can do yourself. Um, and if there's something that we aren't offering that you think would be really useful in your community, let us know because chances are it might be useful in someone else's community too. So we still have time to be flexible in terms of what those offerings are. And we have a question. We don't work directly with trails or families, but we have a large network of other nonprofits. Can we be a partner? Absolutely, you can. Um, and one of the ways there would be to encourage your network of nonprofits to spread the word or to participate and get out on the trails in your community that weekend or that day, maybe even organizing something with the group of nonprofits on the trail, whether that's a walk or a ride or some sort of community celebration. Suzanne, I thank you for using a picture from the Genesee Valley Greenway in the presentation. <laughs> it will definitely be involved again this year. Yes, that is my uh, not so discreet plug to please share on social media. It's really fun to see all the ways that people celebrate just to share just the fun that happens. To, again, spread that joy. That's great. That's great. And as Suzanne noted, there is plenty of time to ask us all of the questions between now and April. So you have our email addresses. Uh, you can reach out anytime. And I'll just reiterate, I dropped the links in the chat, but rails trails.org forward slash celebrate trails is, is the one-stop shop. Everything is there and it should be pretty easy to get to partner resources versus public resources. But those public resources are for partners too. share those um, with your community that you reach, encourage them to get out there on Celebrate Trails Day, share their experiences. Um, and we've talked a little bit about the Earth Day integration. Um, one thing, if folks have ideas for how they'd like to see the, the sustainability and the environmental resiliency message shared, let us know that because you know we're talking a lot about swapping car trips and we know that people do that in all different sizes and scales of communities. Um, but there's a lot of ways that people use trails as part of their kind of environmental efforts. Um, and so we'd love to hear that from you as well. So we can hold up the range of ways that people can make a happy planet and happy communities, as Suzanne said. I think that's it. All right. Well, thank you again, everybody for tuning in for today's webinar and bearing with us while I was moving around technology. Uh, we really appreciate your time and energy and all you do for trails. And we really hope that you will all join us for Celebrate Trails Day again this year on April 22nd. Um, thank you again and stay tuned for more exciting news and updates about the celebration. Thank you.